Yeah, take it away, Lloyd. All right, thanks so much. I'm glad to be here. I thought I wasn't going to get on just like 15 minutes ago. Um, so hello, everyone. In the short time that I have to talk about this wiki project today, I just wanted to discuss a few considerations and or pitfalls that we ran into while making a data model for a wiki project biography, which is what I'm talking about. First, I got to tell you what wiki project biography is. This is a wiki project on Wikidata. I imagine that many of you are familiar with the idea of a data model. That is a list of properties that for any given class of objects comprises the list of ways to describe that class. That's kind of tautological idea, but, but, but kind of famously, for instance, the data model for Wiki Project Lighthouses has an extensive list of the different categories that lighthouses might take on height, location, luminosity, etc. Wiki Project Biography attempts to, to do the same for the human being, a complicated task because there are, there's really never any end to the categories that we might come up with to describe human beings on Wikidata and Wikipedia. To be perfectly clear, there has been a Wiki Project biography on Wikipedia since at least 2002, um, but there seemed to be a bit of a gap for a precise equivalent Wiki Project on Wikidata, hence our work. Our work, I, I am working in conjunction with Lane Raspberry. He's here at UVA, where I'm a graduate student in English. Lane started the project and asked me to create a data model. That is, he asked me to take the most important properties for humans and therein conceive of the range of ways in which humans might be described and sort of made into data. Here is the list, what's being projected right now. And without exhaustively going into it, I'll just note that there are various aspects of this list, namely the name of the property, the description of the property, and an example of the property fulfilled by some subject on Wikidata. It's this last thing, this final column that I want to focus on. When I created this model and I picked the different examples, I was really focusing on achieving diversity in data modeling. Representation in totality was impossible. I'm sure some group had to get the short end of the stick and my blind spots sort of prevent me from knowing what I haven't included. But I was trying to submit a kind of implicit message about data modeling, which is that often when we discuss data and use particular people as subjects or examples of that data, we use the same sorts of people, well known to all of us, and thus often white or male or straight or whatever other dominant demographic categorization you want to pick. So I wanted to be very intentional about picking examples that represent a range of people, but also a range, say, of data types. That is to say, the implicit meaning of this list is something like this. All sorts of people fall under the scope of being, quote unquote, worthy of data accumulation. Put another way, all sorts of people may also, shall we say, suffer from falling under the scope of being worthy of data accumulation. So that latter description is an important thing to highlight, the question of demographic profiling. If we're going to describe people with data, are all characteristics fair game? One of the questions I want to ask is, what, where is the dividing standard for demographic profiling between, on the one hand, availability of data and on the other, individual preference? Wikipedia guidelines, per my reading of them, favor adhering to individual preferences, especially when it comes to things like gender identity, except in situations where there are some competing reasons to, do, to, to not do that. Um, but what are those standards precisely by which we decide the compelling reasons against open data? When do we deny or comply with an individual's desire to be expunged from Wikidata? Uh, to what extent does the Wiki community participate in the um, so-called right to be forgotten? As the Wiki projects expand and more and more people become publicly available, more and more people will not want their data on these websites. The data model I made shows the truly legion set of properties by which people might be described, which only compounds the, uh, the number of things about them that they might take offense to. These are questions that, of course, the Wikipedia community has been asking since the beginning, but they're worth, I think, asking again. That's all. Thank you so much.